Hi everybody, welcome back to Minions Model Car Garage. It's been a while since I've put out a build video, but I have been working on two different 57 Nomad kits over the past few weeks, so I thought I'd better put out an update video to show the progress I've made so far on the Deals Wheels Go Mad Nomad. Well, here I am on the front lawn, sitting in the sun, working on my Go Mad Nomad. Just opened her up, just uh, cleaning off some of the seam lines, little bits of flash and stuff. Although there's a couple of spots that are pretty bad right along here. If you can see it, there's uh, bad seams on the top of the fenders here, especially right there. And there's a couple little tears in the back fender, and there, and one there. And you can see there's a little tear in the plastic right there. But I'll fix that up. Scribe out the doors. For get it prepared for washing and eventually bare metal foil. This is the 57 Chev Go Mad Nomad, and I just notice on here there's a lot of flash on the floor pan, and there's this sort of a sticker melted onto the plastic here that has to be removed. I have to create spots here to attach his hand and the gear shift and uh, his head and the steering wheel. So, on to the next step. I almost considered keeping his hair white. I used a black marker and some red translucent enamel taillight paint for the sunglasses. Here I am in the garage. This is where I use the enamel paints to avoid getting the smell in the house. And this is the chassis of the 57 Gomad Nomad. I got red oxide primer and over that um, flat black acrylic sprayed on and aluminum enamel paint on the gas tank, the differential and the flywheel cover. Uh, enamel steel on the drive shaft red on the oil pan and I picked out the bolts with the aluminum and the toothpick. Following Vince Weston's instructions on the video he made on this build, I glued the uh, tires together with some Gorilla Super Glue and I painted the writing on the boot, on the good boot, on the tires with one of my fingernail brushes that I got in my previous video. A very small tip brush and just picked that out with some enamel white paint. It came out nice. And the blower intake was uh, two pieces 
when you separate them and clean them up, glue them together, there was seam lines and chips and so on. So I stripped the whole thing back, it's black plastic underneath, I stripped it back using the LA Totally Awesome degreaser. It took about 24 hours and it just, the chrome just fell off. Then I sprayed it with the Krylon uh, chrome paint just over the black plastic and it came out pretty nice. I'm planning on having the wheelie bars on this build, so what I'm doing is taking the chrome off with a knife, hobby knife, or um, a small sanding stick. It's black plastic underneath, so that gives me the finish I want. I just leave it like that, dull black, and the, with the sanding uh, the chrome off, it gives me a little bit worn finish, so they look like they've been used. So. It's working out nicely on the wheelie bars.